Um, behind you, we're going to have a 250 capacity live music venue. Uh, the full stage, we've got full lighting. Full a derelict car park reinvented as a cinema and community art space. It's a model the developer hopes will be replicated across outer London. The cultural offering has not kept pace with the demographic changes in the outer London boroughs, but the local governments, local councils can be doing a lot more to support venues like really local group venues and support other entrepreneurs and people with ideas to make their high streets flourish. At the venue's first ever event, there are hopes that cultural investment could represent the future for London suburbs. People used to talk about Clone Town Britain, that you get exactly the same shops on every high street. Um, but even more worrying, you get shops leaving high streets now. A lot of high streets are in suburban decline. This one here, to be honest, there's a lot of hoardings going up. Um, and that means, you know, failure behind the mural or whatever that's been painted on the hoarding. So we've got to think of new things and creative things to do with our high streets. If, if retail's not going to stay there and cultural spaces like this can be one of them.